Hey guys, this week's episode talks about creation and what creation tells us about God. The heavens declare the glory of God. The sky proclaims the work of his hands. We can tell from creation, not only the creatures like ourselves but and the animals, but from the beauty and the colors that we see that there is an amazingly powerful God. And in Psalm 19, it also tells us that day by day, night by night, these things are testifying to the power of God, speaking knowledge to the creation. We spent some family time this week at the beach, and uh, man, I'm going to attach some really awesome pictures that I hope show you the beauty of God's creation and just build a wonder in your mind and in your hearts about how awesome God really is. You know, we really love hiking and being outdoors as well. What are some things you love to do out in nature? Maybe with your families, hiking, camping, boating, uh, maybe it's just playing. What are some other things you love about God's creation? And what do they tell you about God? Feel free to post some pictures or comment on this video in the thread about the things you love and maybe some beautiful creation uh, pictures that you have. I wanted to share with you guys a couple resources that we love in our family that we've, we've come across. And I know there's probably a ton more out there. So if you have any suggestions of things you love, I'd love to hear about it. You could comment as well about those. But we've got a couple books here from uh, Apologia. And Apologia, they, they've uh, given us some great resources. These are kind of for younger kids. This, how do we know that God created life and how do we know that God is really there are some really good apologetic resources for young kids. The one thing I really like about them is it exposes kids right away and gets you as a parent the ability to talk about the fact that other people do have different worldviews. As we're constantly instilling into our kids that God created and that's logical and everyone knows it, uh, they're gonna come across people and scenarios where they don't necessarily uh, profess a belief in God. We know everybody believes in God, but they don't profess that. And these books are a great starter for apologetics of, of for children to how to not only defend the faith, but also some, some quick, good answers as they are young and can understand of why we know that creation testifies to a creator. The other one is for a little bit older kids, but it's actually one of my really favorite books. Our kids are still a little bit young for it, but they love looking at the pictures. But it's called Made in Heaven, and Made in Heaven is really awesome. It, it goes through different technologies that we have, that we use, and how all the design that we see and the advancements in uh, you know, for that mankind has made has been kind of copycatted off of God's original design. And they go different through different things in nature, like plants and animals and insects, and how we've made technology off of the things that God designed into nature itself. So these books are some great resources for you guys as your family comes together, talks about nature, talks about creation, and how it testifies of an amazing God that we love and serve. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode this week, and I hope some of these resources help you out. And until next time, get out there and enjoy God's wonderful creation and let it testify to you over and over again about this amazing, powerful creator, God. <laughs>